telling you that a lot of us downloaded it last week when they had one last week, and yeah. I used mine today. It was very Ooh, exciting. It is yes. exciting. That's the first I've heard of it. I was actually, you know, talking to you, learning a little bit more. So yeah. Good. Hear about Free money. I, w I went to the Green Zebra grocery store by PSU and got and a bunch used of it stuff. Right up. Yeah. Yes, it was awesome. Get out there and do it. Yeah. If you're watching this. Support the downtown businesses. <laughs> yeah, All right, well, yeah. nice day to do that. It is. Yeah, we have some uh, sunshine out there, some clouds, temperatures, not all that cool. Not to our average, which should be in the upper 60s, but at least we're breaking into the 60s today. It's going to be a pretty dry day. I think late tonight, as I mentioned in the first weather, that we may get a couple sprinkles out there and maybe some very light rain. But most of you will probably be in bed or hopefully it will be uh, way beyond our sunset. It's going to get pretty wet, though. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But I just love the color scheme that played out on this. Got the purple, the red, the orange, whatever. But it's just a, a great shot there. We will continue to have at least some form of rain as we go through the next four or five Five days after late tonight. Okay, there's Vancouver. Nice, beautiful weather. We have fair weather clouds out there. These aren't going to produce any rain, but we definitely have some clouds in the distance, which you could kind of see from our Lincoln City camera here, way out there, that deck of cloud coverage that's going to be slowly working in through the course of today. These cumulus clouds will turn into more of a stratus cloud as we go into late tonight and then eventually there goes the rain. So here's what we have right now. I showed this earlier. I just think it's a beautiful view right there. You can see all the little pockets in the kind of streets of some clouds. But this deck right here, that thick area of gray, that's going to be the clouds that are going to leave us gray and a little wet as we go into tomorrow. That's all part of a system that will be arriving here late tonight. A couple showers, though, forming there around Astoria, pushing into uh, the Long Beach Peninsula area. And uh, you can see that those are streaming from the southwest up to the northeast. Eventually, late tonight, we'll have a few more start to approach the coast, and then a few more start to approach the valley. And then we'll have some consistent rain as this system starts to move on. And here's the area of low pressure that's, uh, cons that's uh, all part of this system. And even one right here kind of forming in the back end. So this is a... Uh, probably going to bring in a decent amount of rain for us as we go into our Thursday quarter of an inch, maybe to a half an inch, uh, depending on where you're located. Okay, thunderstorm potential today still in the northeast, so I don't expect anything here in the valley or out to the coast, but you may see some lightning there out towards the Wallala, uh, the Blue Mountains, just that whole quadrant there in the northeast uh, of Oregon. Weather pattern here is showing all of the with little drops in the jet stream. This is actually a little ridge right here, but then the drop right there. So we have areas of low pressure embedded into that, and that's what's going to be occurring as we go into tomorrow. Still pretty cool and below average. We're looking for a larger ridge, something like this, which is bringing 90s and up to about 100 degrees with the heat uh, and the humidity there for the Midwest. But for us, we're just kind of staying cool, and it's going to stay that way. I, I don't expect us to really break out of this pattern until maybe a little bit on Sunday there. And then right behind it, we're back into probably some cool weather. It's been that way for the last 30 days or so. In fact, we've only had three days above average. We've had a couple hit average, but anything that you see that's going down, that's when our temperature was below our average in some days, up to about 10 to 15 degrees below average, meaning we're down into the lower 50s. Futurecast today showing us those clouds. And then here's late tonight. As I mentioned, maybe some rain for the Oregon coast, maybe a couple drops here in Portland. Snowfall for the mountains early tomorrow and into the afternoon as that front glides right across. It's going to help initiate some of that rain and it's going to keep us pretty wet through the day. Should dry up though late Thursday night. We'll keep it dry heading into Friday morning as well. So Friday morning, get out for the bike ride. You're good. Get out in the afternoon, probably wet. And you'll see that that rain moves sliding right on through. And then we have more going into Saturday as well. So kind of wet once we get through today. So really take advantage of this afternoon. 63 for a high today. 68 on Sunday, somewhere right around that mark. So, you know, earlier this week, it looked like Sunday was maybe going to be a nice day, and it's turned on us, Jenny. It's, it's going to turn around. You kind of promised me it wouldn't turn. And it did. Yeah, yeah. on Bad the air. Promise. Promised me. Yes, yeah. okay. Well, it's better than the 50s, I guess. We'll be right back with more news and a final look at your forecast.